what's up guys so basically in today's video I'm gonna be doing an autograph update from the click job wrestling convention I went to in Tucson with my dad and my nephew if you guys haven't checked out the day in the life go ahead and go check it out now or after this video so um I have about I don't know how many autographs I think I should get started with the video because I feel like it's gonna take a little while so I'm gonna start with the 8x10s and magazines I got signed so first off here we have uh, my Edge, well my Raw uh, September 2005 magazine. So I have it signed by Lita and Edge. So eventually I need to get Matt Hardy to sign it. Which I don't know if that'll be an easy task or a hard task, but uh, we'll see. Alright, next. Oops, hold on guys. Alright, that's... Okay, so I have Tara, who aka is also Vic, uh, Victoria from WWE, and then on the back I have Zeus. Next one, and she signed it in a really cool color sharpie, I think, to Kayla, Candice Michelle, and I forgot to get her to sign the encyclopedia, which sucks, but I don't feel like this will be the last time me meeting her. Um, next, I have Ms. Teschmacher. And then the back, um, Taryn Terrell, who was also Tiffany in WWE. Next, she was added to the list last second. She, repla she replaced Robbie E. And I really don't like Robbie E, so I guess this is better. Christy Hemme. And then there's the Robbie 8x10 that was supposed to get signed. Next, I'm going to leave this one for last because it's my favorite 8x10 that I got signed. Uh, another Robbie 8x10 that I didn't get signed. Uh, last, uh, to Kayla, Angelina Love. So, uh, the, my favorite 8x10 that I got signed this weekend, and I, honestly... Just because the fact that you'll understand when you see it. So it is the Bret Hart 8x10 of Bret Hart putting Shawn Michaels um, in the sharpshooter. So this one, I honestly love this. Uh, to Kayla, Bret Hart. And then over here, you can see it says fight on. So that uh, means a lot. Just because I got to use a, well, we kind of made our own disabled line kind of thing to where I really didn't have to wait in the long lines because the lines were long as hell, especially for Edge, Ric Flair, uh, Goldberg, and Bret Hart. Those are the longest lines, and I really get tired very quickly because of the cancer and stuff. So they allowed me to have like special access during the uh, signings. So, and obviously Bret Hart's, they told him like, oh, she has leukemia and whatever. So I really like how he added that fight on there. I actually barely noticed that last night. And I got back on Sunday night. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is my... Uh, should I show next? Where is it? Um, my belt. I was going to show you my encyclopedia, but I packed it away. So I'll go get that right now. Because I leave tomorrow to Houston and San Antonio. So I took my World Heavyweight Championship belt to the signing. And on the front right here, I already have Dolph Ziggler's signature. But then I also added the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, 16-time world champion. And then eventually, August 25th, I'll be meeting John Cena for my Make-A-Wish, and he'll be signing on this side. And on the back, I got... Oops. Shit, ow, fucking bitch. Fucking hurt. I dropped a figure, and my cat freaking ran across my foot, and she has nails. Anyways, Goldberg is right there, and you can see Edge there. 
So, yeah, just Edge and Goldberg. Add it on and Ric Flair. Okay, let me pick up what I just dropped because that's what I'm going to be showing you next. So, the next couple things are figures. Um, I also got a pickup in Tucson and I got a pickup yesterday at Walmart. But I'm not going to show you guys those until after my San Antonio trip because I just don't feel like I have enough to show you in a video. And um, I know after San Antonio I'll have a couple new things. So, the first figure that I got signed is Mish Teschmacher. So, she signed it, uh, Lisa, I think, Lisa Marie Veron, right? I think that's how she signed it. I'm not sure. But, whatever. I get the divas confused. Especially the TNA knockouts, because I kind of stopped watching TNA. So, next, um, really cool person to meet, Angelina Love. So she put two Kayla, Angelina Love. Next, oh, I forgot about this. I have a Candice Michelle. I mean, no, excuse me, why did I say Candice Michelle? Maria signed card. Because I really don't have anything of Maria. Never really been a big fan of Maria either. Um, next, uh, I'm going to leave my favorite one for last. So next I have um, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. My nephew also has this figure exactly signed also. But I need to get in a frame for him because he has little sisters. And we do not want the little sisters opening the box. That would be a very bad thing. So next um, I have the uh, entrance grates signed Bret Hart. Kind of hard to see but in person you can see it. But of course, on camera, it's always more difficult. Uh, next, I have my uh, Adrenaline Series uh, 9, signed by Lita. Oh, crap. There it is. So, two Kayla, uh, Lita. And then, yeah, so, pretty cool. She put 2014 Hall of Fame. And literally, you guys, you don't even understand. When I met Lita, I marked the shit out. You don't even know. Like, I... You guys don't even understand how much I marked out. But anyways, my last uh, figure I got signed, and then I'll go get my encyclopedia to show you guys, is... I wasn't sure if I should have taken this because you're only allowed three autographs, but I got away with so much more than three autographs. Um, so I took it anyways. Razor Ramon signed uh, uh, Unmatched Fury. So right there. Razor Ramon was freaking awesome to me. Um, he's just overall an awesome guy. And uh, Edge also was oh I forgot one of the figures crap so I'll go get that right now and I'll show you guys but um overall the signing was really freaking cool and click job wrestling if you guys live in Phoenix I advise you anywhere near Phoenix to go on click job wrestling right now and see who's signing I'm not gonna personally say it right now because I'm gonna be there at that signing that's gonna be in Phoenix September 13th and it is a signing you do not want to miss. Trust me on that. So, let me go grab the encyclopedia. One of the figures I forgot and some posters I forgot. So, I will be right back. I'm about to show you two posters. Now, with these posters, I have three of each. But I'm only going to show you two of them because what's the point of showing all six of them? So, um, one of them are mine. One's my nephew's. One set of them is mine, one set of them is my nephew's, and then I have an extra set. One of them is going to be for my nurse, and then the other one, um, I don't know. But do not ask if you can have the autographs, because no, you cannot. So anyways, ne uh, 
First, I'm going to show you uh, Sign Goldberg. It's kind of hard to see, but his signature is right there. I feel like they should have had a bigger Sharpie for this one. Just because it has so much going on with the fireworks and everything. And then this, so I have three of those. One's mine, one's my nephew's, and one's personalized to my nurse. And then this one, it has Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and X-Pac. So, one's mine, one's my nephew's, and I have an extra one I don't know what I'm going to do with. And no, guys, you cannot have it, so do not ask. Because I know there's going to be somebody on here, eventually, who's going to ask, Can I have one? No. No. Because you guys are always asking for my cards, and I don't know why. And it's really kind of annoying. So, next is my figure that I forgot to show you guys. And I will be getting it signed by John Cena soon enough, and hopefully Big Show. So, I got it signed by Edge this past weekend, so you can see the autograph right there. So, it's the classic three-pack, so... I'm psyched that I got Edge to sign it, and then now I need just John Cena and Big Show. So the way I'm going to work with the encyclopedia, guys, is that this was the ticket that you get, and it has everyone, and when you go meet them, the security guard crosses off the person, so you don't meet them more than once. So just bear with me. I'm usually pretty fast at finding them, but if I kind of screw up, just whatever. But I will be talk I'll talk about the event like while I'm looking. But literally guys, this convention was totally worth uh so here's Goldberg signed encyclopedia. It was totally worth the drive to Tucson. Um if you were there, I did see a couple YouTubers. Um but I really don't know them, so I didn't talk to them. Okay, sorry, I had to like can't do my alphabet real quick. So I didn't really talk to them, but I did see quite a few. Here's Ric Flair, and uh, like I was telling you guys, there's gonna be one in Phoenix. Now, guys, I'm telling you this for a reason. Here's Edge. I'm telling you this for a reason, because um, I already had Bret Hart, just to tell you you're going to ask about Bret Hart, I already had him sign this book at Wrestlemania, um, but like you guys need, if you guys live anywhere in the Phoenix area, near Phoenix, if it's two hours away, trust me that drive will be worth it for which two, uh, two superstars so far they have announced are going to be there. Here's Zeus. Zeus, do not meet Zeus. He is a fucking asshole. He's all about the money. And that's what kind of sucks when you go to these things and they just want to make sure they get paid. But it's like, they don't need to screw up your time. Like, he was cool, but at the same time, just he was a jerk, too. Let's see, where is it? Next is uh, Kevin Nash, Diesel. He signed it up there at the, in the red. Okay. Um, but yeah. And the only thing they really need to do different when they go to Phoenix, which I really hope they do different. If they don't, it's not a big deal. But they need a bigger space. Because what they did... Here's Razor Ramon. What they did is that they had the hotel. They say they did it at a hotel, and if you stayed at that hotel, you got like a special rate, and it was a really nice hotel, anyways. We used to stay there when we'd go to Tucson. Here's X Pac, to Kayla, X Pac. X Pac was a sick dude to me. He was fucking awesome, to be honest. Anyways, hold on, let me see. Okay, no, okay. Um. But they had it in the conference rooms at the hotel. And you can't fit 600 people. In, well, they managed to do it, but you're not supposed to fit like six freaking hundred people into a little tiny convention room. So, Lita. I love how Lita signs. And I'll be meeting her again in San Antonio, um, September. Uh, 
uh, I can't remember, for Elmo City Comic Con, along with Demolition, Maurice, and Tito Santana. Let's see. Hold on, I'm seeing who's next I have on here. So, yeah. But overall, it was just, it was a really good signing. I really had fun, and it was awesome meeting all these guys. There's Maria. And then, let's see. I have two more in here. Okay. And then I'm going to be taking this encyclopedia with me to Houston because I know I haven't made a video of why I'm going to Houston, but I'm just going to tell you guys now and then I'm going to do an unboxing while I'm there in San Antonio. Um, I'm going to Raw this weekend, or this next Monday Night Raw. I will be there, second row, so look out for me. Be decked out in John Cena stuff, and I'll probably have some kind of sign. I don't know. I really don't know what I'll put on the signs. But if I come out, then I will surely let you guys know. Next is Tiffany, who is now also, I think, Taryn Terrell, if that's her name in TNA. And then last but not least, Victoria. So, those are the uh, people that I got to sign inside the encyclopedia. And overall, like I just said, guys, I know I just kind of jabbered off about the chip. But overall, it was really freaking awesome. I had so much fun. Um, favorite guy that I met it was, this weekend uh, was probably a tie between Edge and Lita. They were both freaking awesome. I'm rocking my Lita shirt right now. That's the first thing she said. I like your choice in apparel today. And I'm like, well, thank you. So they also had a Q&A, which I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit right now. Um, they were asking Goldberg if, you know what, actually, I'm not going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to make a video of that. And I'm, and I have like, I didn't record him saying this, but you guys are just going to have to take my word for it because I'll tell you honestly what he said during the Q&A. But they also asked Ric Flair if there's one guy they'd want to, he'd want to wrestle to come back and just wrestle one more time. He said he wanted to wrestle John Cena. So I thought that was pretty cool. But as far as the Goldberg thing, I'm going to save that for a video. So uh, I'll make a video maybe soon about um, will Goldberg return, ever return to WWE. And I'm going to tell you guys what he told us personally. So that's it, guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Tomorrow, um, let me think. Tomorrow I'm leaving a Houston. To San Antonio, excuse me, first. So I'm probably going to make the video right now and upload it before I leave tomorrow morning. So, yeah. That's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the autograph update. Sorry it's a little long, but there was a lot of autographs and just a lot to talk about. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. And if you guys haven't already, like I said, go check out the Day in the Life video from where I got these autographs from. And comment, rate, subscribe, and check out my other videos. So, yeah, that's it for now.